You know, Downsview, it's with a heavy heart that I greet you this morning. The very sad news that Jude Strickland has passed away. Now, Jude Strickland is the 11 year old son of Jamie Strickland. Jamie is the pastor for discipleship ministries at West Highland Church, West Highland Baptist Church in Hamilton. It's one of our Feb churches. It is a place where the gospel is known and proclaimed and heralded and held forth. Jamie's son was coming back from school on Tuesday, I believe it was, and a driver ran right through a red light and right through even the crossing guard sign as he was on his, uh, young man was on his bicycle riding home and just hammered him. And we have been praying for a couple of days and we just got note this morning that last night around midnight he passed away. His father just so heartbreakingly said two days ago we were shoveling snow together and now he's gone. And so it's hard to think about much else this morning to be frank with you. And a fellow pastor, fellow church of our fellowship of churches, a family member who loves the Lord and family who loves the Lord, and just asking that you would, it almost seems trite to say, please pray for them, but it's the least and the most that we can do, right? To, to be in prayer for the family at this particular time. In the book of Philippians that we were last night in verse or chapter four, when the apostle Paul's talked about being content in all circumstances and that heroic um, capstone verse in verse 13, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. The very next verse, it says, yet, it was kind of you to share my trouble. And he goes on, the new Philippians yourselves know that in the beginning of the gospel, when I left Macedonia, no church entered into partnership with me in giving and receiving, except only you. And he goes on to explain how the, the, the challenge of feeling unsupported by God's people in his ministry. And yet he says, and yet it was kind of you to share in my trouble. And I thought, that's really what we're seeking to do for the Strickland family. I, I mentioned Strickland, I should probably be clear. Tim Strickland, who is our Director of Leadership Development for FEB, this would be Tim's cousin, uh, Jamie. And to share in their trouble, to share with them their sorrow, to share something of a sense of camaraderie in the gospel, I don't think most of us have a clue what this kind of pain is. It feels to me like where we were six weeks or so ago when Tim Challies from Grace Fellowship Church here in Rexdale, another one of our Feb churches, when Tim Challies, he lost his son, Nick, unexpectedly, and we're all wanting to pray for them, we're all wanting to stand with them, we're all wanting to come around them, and in so many ways we think, I don't know what to do. And yet there was even a note on Jamie Strickland's post this morning. Go to my Facebook page and the church's uh, Facebook page. You'll see the copy of the post that he said, we've felt you standing with us. It's been helpful. Uh, reread every post, even if we don't respond. Thank you for doing that. And I just thought, you know, the Lord knows how to do this. The Lord knows how to take our confused, unarticulate hearts and make those feelings into feelings that connect with the people we're, we're trying to connect with. So, I mean, we just have to walk by faith. We have to ask that God will care for this family in the midst of all this other COVID craziness. A couple of weeks before Christmas, this 11 year old boy is from our standpoint, just senselessly taken from a family. There are many things like that, that many of you were dealing with and have been dealing with. I know that. And I know that I don't know what those things are. And you know that I don't understand but I'm really glad that we all can rest in the one who does know, the one who knows and understands our pain far more frankly than we even interpret it ourselves. So would, would you just, just, just pray with me this morning if you would. So Heavenly Father, for this dear family, we humbly ask that the truth of the gospel of Christ, that the one who knew no sin, who was made to be sin for them, so that through him they could indeed become the very righteousness of God. Would that truth and the fruit of that truth bear comfort 
in a miraculous way. It doesn't make any sense to us that it could happen humanly. And it's hard for us even to understand spiritually, dear God, but I'm so grateful that you give us the opportunity to share in another person's troubles. And we do that by uplifting them before the throne of God above with whom they have a strong and perfect plea. Heal and give grace to those hurting hearts, dear God, and shine your light through them. I know that's their desire. And even through the life, memory of the life of this young boy now, we ask your care and that you would ask, or we would ask Heavenly Father, that you would care for them in ways that goes beyond what we can understand. We simply plead for your mercy in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks for that, friends, and pray that God will encourage you today and throughout your day. Just remember this family and remember those within our church family who have challenges and difficulties that we simply don't understand, but that we're so thankful that the Lord does. Cheers, friends.